So this video is about a 900B SL. How you try to connect to a scoreboard, and it says RS232 here, but it's hardwired in. And the scoreboard is given to you uses the DB9 connector, while on the other end it's a 5 pin, which is nice. It does work on a normal 900, which has a DB9 on it, but this one does not. So I'm going to show you how to connect the 900B SL to our scoreboard. So first you got to do is we're actually going to get a multimeter. You don't have to do this but I'm just showing you the process so you know which ones are which pins. So I set to continuity and you will hear a beep. So let's say pin 1 for example and then I could try to go through the pins and you should hear a beep. This one does not have a beep. Uh, I've already done this previously so that's why I'm going pretty fast. So I'll just tell you to pin out, but just in case, and I want pin three, and I find pin three here. Pin three is pin two, which is transmit on a DB9 connector. So white, the white cable, which is pin three, is transmit. Let's go to pin four. You can see. Nothing and then pin 5 is pin 5, which is uh, the shield, is the ground cable. So those are two you need. The pin 3 is white, is transmit. Pin 5, which is the ground. That's all you need because it's a one way communication. The indicator 900 BSL will transmit data to the scoreboard but does not receive data back. Those are your two important colors. Pin 3 is white and pin 4 is the shield cable. So. Right now, you actually cut off about here, the other end. And you'll start stripping the wire. I did cut off the 5 pin and I started cutting it and I noticed it was red and black so what I mean by that is if you check the DB9 connector that my cable specifically came with you'll notice see pin 2 which transmit is red pin 5 is black typically that's power and ground so uh, what it seems like is every cable is different that's why I did the previous step so I'll bring back my multimeter and it's reason why I said red and black on my cable but your cable might be different Let's see if I go to pin 3 which is usually the white cable you see there's continuity on pin 3 for black or uh, red even though it's usually white so for my case pin 3 the transmit is red and then pin 5 in my case is black so for me, the left port is the red one, and the right port, the ground, is black. But your cable might be different, that's why you got to do the continuity test. So it wasn't, like I said previously, so for me, pin 3 transmit is red, pin 5 is black, but it might be different for you. Best way is just open up this connector, you'll see the pin 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pin 2 for me was red, pin 5 is black. So now get your 900B SL, and open it up. BSL, you see I have the other end of the cable. Just gonna put it through. I need to loosen this up. There's a little thing here that blocks it, so you have to remove it as well. But anyways, just try to feed it through. And you should start seeing it go through on this end. So try to pull it through. It's kind of difficult, but you can see I actually had to cut up more of the wire leave more length for the cable because we're going to try to separate it out so see the left one is transmit then receive and then ground so you don't need to put transmit and ground so my case was red and black but your cable might be different so you're just gonna hold it down and then screw down the two cables okay so you see i have my red and black cable I'll screw them both down so the left most transmit and right is ground so now i close it up I could put the screws back in and that connects to my scoreboard. So I'm here, 
turn it on. So we're connected to the scoreboard. So what I have to do is actually set the C18 and C19 setting. So I'll fold and print. So move left, up. C18 for the 910, the 3 inch 5 or 7. C18 is set to 1. And then C19 is set to 0 for 910. With the 910X, then it'll be C19 3. But since it's normal 910, 3 inch, 5 inch, 7 inch, C19 0. And then I can press the accumulate to save and exit. So you can see the way here. And on my 3 inch, you can see it right there. So the most difficult part is actually finding which is pin 2 on the DB9 connector and your cable, and which is pin 5. You can see whenever I go here, there, and this works on the 910 3 inch, 5 inch, 7 inch. It's just 910X, it's a different baud rate. You see it works, and I say set up a 900 BSL or ASL to a scoreboard or pinner.